all the rough filing is now done. Uh, I really like the profile on this knife. So uh, I'm going to make a start on uh, sanding it before I uh, uh, heat treat it. I'm going to start it with um, 80 grit sandpaper. Set the blade up to 180 grit, and uh, this is just a quick polish. I will uh, continue polishing later, but uh, for now on, we will start focusing on uh, giving this blade a proper heat treating. That's why I made my uh, my workshop a little darker because it's easier to see the colors on uh, on a metal. So we are going to start out by hardening this blade, and uh, I'm going to use my uh, propane torch and uh, start heating this up to cherry red. And as for that, I will quench it in. Uh, a bucket of water right here so um, I've never hardened a blade this size before so um, let's see how it turns out so I switched to uh, using a proper torch in order to uh, heat this up, because my small one, you see this thing on my workbench right there, was just not just not potent enough. So uh, anyway, I managed to uh, get this blade to a proper hardness. Uh, you can test this by uh, using a file, and it, it just should just skate over the blade after hardening, which it does right now. So that means uh, hardening uh, went well. So the next step is. Um, uh, is tempering the blade and this allows it to become a little less hard so uh, but before I do that I need to polish it up a little bit so I can see the tempering colors uh, on the blade as far as tempering goes I am going to heat this blade up until it's uh, uh, some sort of golden straw color and then quench in the water again So this is kind of the color that you're looking for, not the best heat treat I've ever done, but still I think it will be fine. A little bit dark on the tip and a little pale on this part of the blade, but um, as I said, I think it will be uh, just fine. Disappointed that I uh, didn't make it into a perfect mirror polish, but still, for considering I am a beginner, um, it's not really bad at all. So um, now the blade is uh, completely uh, heat treated, polished, uh, finished. So we can um, start making a handle. So for the handle, I'm going to use this piece of uh, rhododendron, and uh, rhododendron is actually a shrub, not a tree. Um, so this piece is maybe 10 or 15 years old and it has a beautiful color and grains and it, it, it polishes and works very well so, uh, so let's see if we can turn this into a, a beautiful handle
second ever saw blade. Now I have finished and uh, it looks really great as you can see. It worked really well. This handle is really smooth and that's also because uh, Rhododendron has a very tough wood. Uh, it's tough to work but easy to polish. It has a beautiful and interesting grain to it and uh, I really like the looks of it. I did not mount the copper ferrule completely straight so that's uh, something to pay attention to in the future. Also the holes that I drilled with my uh, drill were completely straight so the knife is also a little bit crooked but um, it doesn't really show, it just looks um, uh, pretty great overall. The, the polish on this blade is not really good so I'm going to try to improve that on, uh, on that skill in the future but overall for a second ever uh, solid knife I think the polish is uh, pretty good. I'm, I'm not really familiar with uh, sharpening knives so I tried a, a new technique today which is using a very hard buffing wheel that I found uh, in my uh, workshop so I managed to get a very sharp edge on this so uh, let's test it out. Most people use uh, regular paper but I only have this very thin 400 grit sandpaper and that is really really incredible. This is the sharpest knife that I've ever held not to break or anything but this is just really amazing. Um, one of the best um, sharpening jobs I've ever done. So the profile on this blade is a typical scanning design and um, the shapes are often um, associated with uh, being very tough and being workhorses but don't be fooled, this is not a workhorse. The tang on this blade is a little bit uh, on a thin side, next to that it was my first time ever using epoxy so I don't know if this uh, glue up uh, ended up uh, correctly. Still, this is a vicious little cutter and um, I'm really content with it. But the big point is that I'm not going to use this knife because uh, I'm giving it away to uh, one lucky uh, subscriber. By the time this video is up on YouTube I have already reached uh, 1000 subscribers. So this is part of a, uh, uh, a giveaway in order to uh, uh, do something back for you guys. Uh, because I've been uh, really blessed with very clever and uh, very uh, smart and supporting subscribers. And uh, this is my way of um, giving something back to you guys. So I hope uh, one of you guys will be, uh, will be using this very carefully, of course. As I said, this is not a workhorse, so it's not a chopper, it's not an axe, it's not a machete. Um, it's just a little cutter that you can just uh, put in your backpack and uh, take with you when, you're, when you go camping or anything like that. It's just a way of uh, saying thank you and uh, doing something back for, uh, for you guys. Of course, it's very sharp and it is usable but only for small tasks like um, skinning a rabbit or something like that. So don't go around throwing this or don't go around uh, doing all sorts of crazy cold steel type stuff with this because uh, you might get hurt and uh, that's not my problem at all. So what do you need to do in order to be able to uh, participate and uh, have a chance of winning this, uh, this great knife? You need to be subscribed to this YouTube channel. You need to share this video by leaving a comment and sharing it on Google+. If you want to have an extra chance of winning, you can tag a friend and you do this by typing plus and then the Google Plus name of somebody who might be interested in this giveaway. So if you want to participate in this contest, you will need to do your entry before the 1st of July. After that, there will be no chance of winning anymore. The, win the winner will be announced on the 14th of July 2015. That is two days before the Dutch Horse first anniversary. I planned something very nice for uh, the first anniversary and uh, I don't think you guys will be uh, disappointed. So uh, thank you for watching, good luck and may the best man win.